Welcome to the JT Coex Animation Viewer version 2.0. As we proceed through this video, you'll notice that all of the functionality from version 1 of the viewer still exists, but there is plenty of new functionality that we hope will increase the usefulness and usability of this application. When you start the mission, you will see a unit in front of you. Using the middle mouse wheel, select the Launch Animation Utility option. This will display the animation viewer. The user interface is broken down into three distinct sections. They are Filters, Animation List, and Animation Sequence. Let's start in the Filters section. If you hover over the Information icon, you will get detailed information about each of the fields in the filter section. This includes information on how to decipher some of the more complex animations that you will find in VBS2. Clicking on any of the fields with the down arrow will open up a pull-down menu with a list of filters. If a filter is selected, the animation list below will automatically update the list of animations based on the criteria you have set. The field labeled Filter is a text field that allows for user input. If you click in the text area and begin to enter text, you will see that the animation list will dynamically update the list of animations while you are typing. There is also a button that will allow the user to reset all of the filters to their original states. The next section we'll look at is the animation list. The large white area we've already seen contains the current list of animations that fit the search criteria used in the filters section. Hovering over the information icon will bring up a window with information about the animation list section. There are four buttons below the animation list. The first one is the play button. This button will play the selected animation from the animation list. The longest animations can play for over a minute. For this reason, we've provided a stop button. This button will stop any playing animations and reset the unit to its original location. Selecting the next button will temporarily close the current window and bring up a formatted text window. In this window, you can highlight the text and copy and paste it into your script. You will need to replace unit name with whichever unit you wish to animate. If you've never done an animation before, you will want to look up the Disable AI command, which will allow for animations to play. Now let's go back to the previous window. The last button in the Animation List section will add the currently selected animation to the Animation Sequence list. Which brings us to the final section, the Animation Sequence. Again, hovering over the Information icon brings up information about the Animation Sequence section. The list area shows a list of all the animations that the user has added from the animation list. There are seven buttons below this list. If you press the play button, each animation in the list will play sequentially from the top. As the sequence of animations is played, the currently playing animation will be highlighted. Pressing the stop button will stop the entire sequence and reset the unit to its original location. The next button functions just like the one for animation list. The difference is that it will display the formatted text of every animation that is currently in the animation sequence list with an upper limit of 32. Pressing the up arrow will take the currently selected animation and move it up the list. As you might guess, selecting the down arrow will move the selected animation down the list. Pressing the minus button will remove the current animation from the list. Finally, Pressing the X button will clear the entire animation sequence list. That's everything, so I hope you find this application useful. We are always looking to improve our products, so if you would like to provide any feedback, please email me at olin.bruce at us.army.mil. Thank you.